This story is of a girl who used to live with her parents on a different planet where there was a colony, and in that colony lived her parents, and that's it. One day she became alone on that planet. What was the reason for that? To know this, let's start today's story. The story begins when we see a family in which there is a girl named Remy and her parents. This family used to live on a planet called Shettle Colony, and if we look around them, there are no birds, no humans. The whole area is barren. They had no neighbors, and they had no contact with the people living on Earth. They also had a farm where they kept some animals, and a greenhouse where Remy's dad used to grow vegetables. And this is how they were living. Remy's eyes were always gone. She wanted to know where she was living. If she goes ahead, what will happen in the next world? Will humans be alive there? That's why she used to look at the distant mountains with longing eyes. One day, she will also go there. But her mom always used to stop her from doing these things. But this family had hoped that someday people would come and settle on this planet, like Earth and land. One day, Remy's dad comes home late. He was looking very worried. Remy also stands quietly. Mom listens to her dad. Remy's dad had doubts that there were strangers around him who wanted to enter his house. Remy also listens to this. Now at night, Remy's dad comes to him and says, "Son, don't worry. Nothing like that will happen. And whatever you hear, there is no need to be afraid. I will handle everything." But Remy was still scared. One morning, when she woke up, someone had written a note on the window with blood. Go away from here. Seeing all this, Remy's mom and dad get scared. Her dad quickly picked up the rifle, and here and there, they start to see who was doing all this. Remy's mom also hides with him. Then, after a while, Remy's mom and dad hear the voices of three people who were pretending to be six, so that these people feel that they are many people, but no one was seeing them. That's why Remy's dad screams like crazy and says, "Whatever it is, come in front." Little Remy is standing far away, hiding. Seeing all this, she is scared to see her dad like this, because she had never seen her dad like this before. Remy's mom and dad cry all day. Who is it? Who is trying to come to their house? There, Remy was worried about whether the animal in his form was fine or not. That's why she quietly leaves the house without telling her mom and dad. She comes out, and she is happy to see her animal, that he was still fine. But when her mom finds out that Remy is not at home, that's why she comes out quickly and comes to take Remy. When Remy was coming to her house, those people also saw her. Who was hiding near her house? They wanted to catch Remy, but at the right time, Remy's dad shot and killed a man. While her mom stops the other and kills him with a knife, and then she runs inside with Remy. Outside, Remy's dad also kills the last enemy. The bullet was in the foot of the enemy. Because of which he was injured. Now Remy's dad goes to the mountains, and her mom was collecting weapons from the dead people. Then Remy sees that there was a girl among the dying people. Now Remy and her mom had locked themselves in the house, and she starts waiting for her dad. But the night had passed. Remy's dad had not returned yet. This makes Remy's mom very worried. She holds a big knife in her hand. She takes Remy with her and decides to find her husband. But then a stranger comes in through her door. This means Remy's dad was dead. This stranger had killed him. This man was no one else but the same man whom Remy's dad had shot yesterday. He gives his name as Jerry, and she says that this is my house, and you people have killed my mom and dad and captured them here. That's why I will not leave my house now. I have reached here after a lot of trouble, and if you don't misbehave with me, then you can stay here with your daughter. Anyway, I have killed your husband, and I am ready to take on the responsibility of you and your daughter. But after hearing all this, Remy's mom comes out, and she was hiding with Remy. Remy was crying a lot. She says to her mom, "Mom, let's go from here. We will not stay here." But her mom knew that life outside of this planet is not easy. That's why she decides to stay with Jerry in this house with Remy. But she had some other plans. As Jerry's attention shifts from her side, as soon as Remy's mom gets a chance, she enters the house and attacks Jerry with a knife. But he had caught Remy's mom, and he tries to kill her with a gun. But he doesn't kill her, and he says to give me thirty days to prove myself. I will not say anything to you. Now Remy's mom says to Jerry that I don't want anything from you, 
Just do this much. I want to bury my husband after his death. Jerry was also ready for this. And along with Remy's dad, he also buries his companions. Who were killed by Remy's dad? Now she and her mom were living with a stranger. Remy repeatedly tells her mom, Please. Mom, let's go from here. But her mom knew that in the outside world, there were bigger dangers for them than for Jerry. Now Remy starts keeping an eye on Jerry. She sees that he has a lot of weapons. After his death, Remy searches Jerry's bag, from which she gets a picture of a man and a girl. It was the same boy whom Remy's mom had killed with a knife to save him. Now Remy and his mom start counting down the days. According to Jerry's promise, they started living with him. Jerry used to handle all the work outside. While Remy's mom used to do the housework, one day Remy's mom takes out a robot machine from her storeroom, which was like a pet animal Remy has a good friend. He used to speak and talk to Remy. One day after dinner Remy's mom sits down at night and talks to Jerry. She tells the whole truth to Jerry. She says that when we reached here, your mom and dad were already dead. We were people living on Earth, but our spaceship crashed. Because of which, we got stuck here and could never go back to Earth. Now, after knowing everything Jerry was also fine with them. Similarly, time goes by Remy's mom and Jerry had formed a relationship. When Remy sees all this, she doesn't like it at all. Because even today, she used to consider Jerry her dad's murderer. That's why Remy now thinks she prepares her stuff. And she decided to leave her station without thinking much. She didn't even know where to go next. It meant that there was no life outside. Now, when Remy starts going a little further, she realizes that where she lives is covered with a piece of glass. It meant that there was no life outside. Whatever life was there, it was just in that part. Where Remy's house was and where he used to live. That's when Remy sees a very big door. When she opens it she goes inside. That's why Remy now comes inside. The torch ball she had moves forward with the help of it. She could see light from a distance. But because of the lack of darkness and oxygen in that tunnel Remy's breath stops. And she fainted there. When she regained consciousness, she was in her bed. It turns out that Jerry saved her. He tells her that beyond the door, there is nothing but dust, dirt, and a lack of oxygen. You should accept this as soon as possible. You can't go anywhere from here. One day Jerry gets a guitar. On which he asks Remy's mom to sing a song. Remy's mom also sings the same song that she often sang with her family. This means that she included Jerry in her life. Seeing this Remy starts crying. And she had locked herself in a room when her mom goes to convince her, but she doesn't agree. Now Remy's mom was angry, and she picks up a gun to kill Jerry. Because she was thinking that because of this, her daughter got angry and she lost her husband too. As soon as she starts firing the gun at him, but there was no bullet in it. That's why she now runs to get the knife, Jerry also follows her. Standing outside Remy was watching all this. Jerry had now killed Remy's mom too. Seeing this Remy was broken. Now what had to happen which she had never thought of, was that she had to spend her life with a stranger and a murderer of her parents. That's why she runs away from here to escape from him Jerry had caught her. And tells her to stop. Because she was a little girl Remy had no way. That's why she now has to stay with Jerry. Remy's mom is also buried on the same mountain where her dad was buried. Time keeps passing like this. Remy has grown up now, and becomes a beautiful girl. Who was living with Jerry? But sad and quiet. But now there were many animals around her. There were many vegetables. One day Jerry gives Remy a gun full of bullets. Because in all these years, Remy had never tried to kill him. It didn't mean that she liked Jerry. In fact, she still considered him the murderer of her parents and she used to stay away from him all the time. On the other hand, Jerry wanted Remy to forget everything and live a happy life with him. One day he takes her to a pond with him. Remy bathes in the water of the pond for the first time, and then the two quietly sit and drink. When they come home, Jerry gives Remy a picture made by his mom. Seeing this, she started crying. Here Jerry's intentions were not right. He hugged Remy in a very strange way. Seeing this Remy got scared. Now she started getting scared at night too. Because now she doesn't feel good about living with Jerry Jerry's intentions had also changed. 
He didn't see Remy as a little girl anymore. In fact, he used to see a beautiful girl inside him. One day Jerry tells Remy that I think only you and I are alive on this planet now. So you stay with me. And we will give birth to children, and move the generation forward. So that the existence of humans never ends. But Remy clearly refuses. She says why should I not be the last one in the world? But I can never live with you with the killers of my mom and dad. Saying this, she goes out with the robot machine. And after thinking a lot, she decided to leave this place. But Jerry finds out about Remy's intentions. That's why he came out of his room with a mask, so that Remy could never leave him. She also runs after him and tries to take the mask. But by mistake, she fell down and fainted. When she regains consciousness, she finds herself tied to the bed Jerry was sitting in front of her. His wrong intentions were clearly visible in his eyes. He tells her, look, you can still think. But Remy was still not ready to listen to him. But now Jerry tries to force him. Hearing Remy's screams, his robot machine comes inside. And using his weapons, he attacked Jerry. By which Jerry falls far away. But Jerry was not dead yet. He now shoots the robot and kills it. There Remy also freed herself. And he immediately picks up a rifle and shoots Jerry in the head. He is also dead now. And she also buries his body on the mountain. After a while Remy realizes how lonely she is. Even her second robot machine broke. She used to sleep near her mom's and dad's graves to get rid of her loneliness. She was spending her days alone like this. She used to see her animals and live like this. But she had also repaired her second robot. Now she wanted to go from here. With the hope that maybe she will see a human on this barren land. She prepares to go from here. And she says goodbye to her second robot machine. She was seeing her house and animals for the last time on her way. Then she puts on a mask and goes into the same tunnel. From where she had tried to go in her childhood. Now she was completely ready. She sees that there is a barren area far away. But still, she wanted to know, is she alone in this world? If she is saved from the troubles that will come in front of her, then her journey to find people will always continue. So will Remy be able to complete this journey? Will she find another human in her life? And with this Remy story ends here.